Brilliant guests on our sofa tonight. One is the new host of Deal or No Deal, and the other, after getting a record deal, went on to become one of the country's most successful female artists. It's Stephen Mulhern and Jess Glynn. Yes. We are here. Oh, how are you See, doing? This is nice company for a Friday, yeah, isn't very it? Very nice. nice. Very yeah. nice. Um, we saw the lovely John there being painted by Adabamji, and we couldn't believe it. There's a big artwork of you, Mr. Mulhern. <laughs> we've got a picture. About. Look, yeah, look at you. I've got a wow. statue, James. This oh is a God. statue of you as a red coat Where in is that? Yeah. Well, that was that was placed in Stratford <laughs> where I grew up. Yeah. But now you can see it wow. in Butlins in Minehead, where I was a red coat where I started out. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame, that, wow. though, because it would be nice in the garden, wouldn't it? Well, do you know what? I was, I was tempted about getting another one made as a water feature in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Where's yeah. the water coming wow. out of? It? That's the problem. That's Never what... you mind, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, look, look from, from red coats to red boxes, uh, you're the new host of the iconic deal oh, on No Deal. Congratulations. It's coming back uh, this month. And uh, let's take a look at what we can expect. That's nice. Hello, banker. One hundred thousand pounds. Yeah. Anything is possible. Walk away now if you want. Deal or no deal. Oh. I know. It's brilliant. Um, remind us now, because it's been a little while, hasn't it? How the game works. Okay, so twenty-two boxes, twenty-two contestants, yeah, and one banker. Right, 22 sums of money from a penny up to 100 grand, all separated amongst the 22 boxes. One player gets selected at random, they bring it to the table, and they don't know obviously what's in their box. Nobody knows apart from the independent adjudicator. As the game goes on, you open two boxes in the first round, three boxes, then three boxes, and at each stage, at the end of each round, the banker will give you an offer to buy your box. He wants to buy your box for the lowest amount of money. And if you bottle it halfway through, and take maybe an offer of £10,000, but a hundred grand is still on the board, oh. then that means it could be in your box. And even oh. when you deal, right, um, let's say you go out on £15,000, huge amounts of money, you've then got to play on as you would have. So Depressed. You, yeah, you can be well, ecstatic. So then you could win like, a load amount more money. No, yeah. once you've dealt, that's it. You can't you win anymore. Get, oh. But you play on, and if you've had the hundred grand in your box, oh. that jubilation of going, oh yeah, I've got 50 grand, then you go, I could have had a hundred. Yeah, it, it, it's very me. Now, yes. the, the the main point I have always wondered about this show, the banker on the phone. Now, I know you're a great mm. performer, Stephen, but but when you pick up that phone, is there really someone on the end? I promise you now, there is a banker on the phone, and the, the production team said to me, "Do you want to know who the banker is?" Yeah, and I said no, and I tell you why, because I don't want to be, I don't want to become friends with the banker, because I want to be on the player's side. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So if it was a mate and he's being rude, then I can go, "Oh, come." Yeah. But, and also, he is ruthless. At one point, somebody loses. I'm not going to give it away on which show, um, but we have quite a few losers on the show. Oh. Um, and he phoned up, and I answered the phone at the end of the game, and he went, this is not a pity party. Oh! Just puts, then I've got to repeat it. Wow. I know. You have to say that to the contestant? Yeah. Oh, my. Why didn't you just yeah. change it and soften it <laughs> yeah, a bit? Yeah. He sends his love. <laughs> 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 oh, um, now then, Heidi Jane asks, uh, do you feel nervous when contestants are opening the boxes? You must do. Well, yeah, because the, all of the contestants, they, they live in a hotel for the, however long they're on the show. So you could be on the show for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, and you spend like 15, 16 hours together, so yeah. they become a family. And when Noel was doing it, and he was, listen, he was the king of deal or no deal, and I'm honoured to be, you know, stepping into his shoes. Um, but he was so compassionate with the, the contestants. Yeah. And you do feel for them because, look, a £1,000, especially at this moment in time, is a huge amount of money. And if you're coming on a show like Deal or No Deal, which is the most successful game show in the world, it's sold to 83 countries in the world, oh. and it's the only game show on the TV with no question apart from one, which is, of course, Deal or No Deal. By the way, you've got a connection with Deal or No Deal, Roman. I do indeed. Yeah. Yes. This, this is, is, this is unreal. Story. Listen to this, Jess. You're not going to believe this, right? <laughs> George Michael... Roman's his godson, right? right? That's not the fact. <laughs> but this I is mean, the real fact. I didn't amazing, know that. No, wait, wait, I'm catching up. George Michael used to love Deal or No Deal. Right. Tell me if I'm right on this oh, story. Yeah. And if somebody lost, 
then George Michael would phone up ITV, or Channel 4 at the time, when it was on Channel 4, and say, I want to give them the money they've lost. Oh, He's a very charitable man. Yep. Did he do that? Yep. Can you believe that? It's amazing. And more than once. Yeah, it was more than that once, is, yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> that is so I mean, it was special. incredible. I mean, you know, one of, one of many things. But, yeah, I, he loved the show. He absolutely yeah. loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. See, you need to take that up another bat on this yeah. time of this season. <laughs> yeah. I've got to pay. Roman Kemp's going to pay Roman, for you. Yeah, you really <laughs> do this is the freaky some. thing, though, right? Is that <laughs> Noel did it for 10 years, and my dad, even before Deal or No Deal started, my mum and dad at Christmas would have boxes that all of our family. There's my dad there. Look, all the boxes, right? Oh. And he'd hide stuff in the boxes, like a sweet or a scratch mm. card that's already been scratched. It's a loser. But the jackpot would be £50. If you found a box by just picking it, you'd win. So. Oh. All of these years, the family. Family. it was meant to be, oh. Stephen. Oh, you know, I love so, it. Yeah, so maybe my dad created Deal or No Deal. How oh. fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> well, look, you can see Deal or No Deal on Monday, the twentieth of November, at four pm on ITV One and ITVX. The lawyers are going, no, he didn't, he didn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, funny. just over an hour ago, <laughs> sixty years. Finally tonight, Deal or No Deal is about to return to our TV screens, this time on ITV1. The hit game show is back after a seven-year break with a new look, but with the same drama and tension. It will be hosted by Stephen Mulhern, who told ITV News he doesn't know who the mysterious banker is and hasn't met him. Our entertainment reporter, Rishi Davda, went on the set in Manchester and couldn't resist chancing his hand. I hope it was all worth it. <laughs> The potential for a box to change your life made each rip and reveal a heart-in-mouth moment. From elation to devastation and every emotion in between, Deal or No Deal delivered drama. Now seven years after the end of the Channel 4 show, which was hosted by Noel Edmonds, ITV's bringing it back later this month with a new face. The last version of Deal or No Deal did 3,000 episodes. Yeah. You got 3,000 episodes? In oh, there. please, bring it on. Bring it on. If this has half the success of the original series, I'll be over the moon. I think people want a bit of comfort and I think they trust these shows and rightly so. So I think that's why their the success is so big. You prepared to be walking down the street and have people yell deal or no deal? They right? can shout deal or no. I've had a lot worse than that. Um, I'll be more than happy. The back of the God Our original series was actually based on the Dutch version of the show and the format has traveled around the world. For UK producers, it was a no-brainer to start things up again, although this time there's a smaller jackpot of 100,000. There would be some shows that we'll watch as TV producers and go, oh, that was a good show, and then you watch it and you're like, oh, did I just like that because I was eight and I was at my nana's house? Whereas Deal or No Deal is the perfect format. So whilst we've got the nostalgia, we have got the perfect show. Though there's a fresh feel to things, the mystery man who makes the frugal offers is just as elusive. Have you ever met the banker? No, this is the thing. People have already started to ask me, what's the banker like? I haven't met him. I don't know his name. Um, what does he sound like? Oh, he's tough. Mm. And I tell you, no matter where you're from, no matter what issues you've got in life, he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't. He is ruthless. And in a completely faked game, I felt that ruthlessness, eliminating the big numbers early on. Oh, 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 Rishi. Good luck, Rishi. £4,000 to buy your box. Deal or no deal? No deal. Oh. I should have taken it because I only had half that amount in front of me. Hopefully the real contestants are more lucky. Rishi Davda, ITV News.